Alright, what's up? How's it going here? Uh, this is going to be my first in what may be a series on history in foreign and domestic countries. We'll be starting off with Ireland today, with a special focus on the Irish Civil War and the Troubles. Uh, this is because here at Spam Account Headquarters, we all agree that the most important history is that history which is juicy and entertaining. Otherwise, history holds little value in the long run. Uh, see my art reactions for proof of such. I <coughs> personally have probably been above the uh, land mass of uh, Ireland as I took a plane ride from P PHL to Heathrow before, and Google indicates that this is likely the case. Uh, Ireland is a small island near the other island known as Great Britain. Part of it is one country known as the United Kingdom, uh, and the other part is another country known as Ireland. The northern part of Ireland is known as Northern Ireland, and it is part of the country United Kingdom. The island itself likely predates human existence, although it may not have been an island at that point. Uh, a man named Oliver Cromwell committed genocide here one time. Piero Scaruffi considers the Rock of Cashel to be the best attraction in Ireland. It was built around the year 1100. Okay, history. In the 18th century, the Irish were generally eating potatoes. Uh, for a long time before this, they'd eaten oats. But YouTuber JB Yeats claims that the English introduced potatoes into the diet of the Irish in an effort to subjugate the population to control measures, cutting the population in half. This is because it got very cold and all of the potatoes were ruined by the frost, and potatoes are not as nutritious as oats. Uh, this is a picture of the mass graves of Ireland provided along with the uh, information. Uh, so this means that the English monarchy arguably killed millions of Irish by making them eat potatoes. This would be known as genocide. In the early 20th century, Ireland won its war of independence, but nationalists and republicans disagreed over a treaty signed between Ireland and United Kingdom. Michael Collins led a, the Republicans in their negotiation of the treaty that caused the conflict. Warner Brothers released a film about him titled Michael Collins, which I have here in my hand, although my webcam is not on, that you can rent on home video. It was directed by Neil Jordan, who is a famous Irish man. The Nationalists liked it, referring to the treaty of course, but the Republicans didn't. The Republicans lost. Uh, you'll eventually notice a trend here because the nationalists had support from the UK. These two forces still oppose each other today in the political community of Ireland. Guerrilla warfare took place in the war and about 2,000 people died. This is an image from the war. Uh, <coughs> in the latter half of the 20th century, another conflict was had. This was known as the Troubles. The Irish nationalists in Northern Ireland wanted to be a part of real Ireland because they were a minority. A lot of fighting happened, with car bombings being a particularly well-known method of terrorism. After a certain point, the members of the Provisional Irish Republican Army in prison were denied their political status, meaning that they were no longer prisoners of war and had to do things. The movie Hunger documents this, including Michael Fassbett uh, Bobby Sands' hunger strike that ended in his death and the restoration of political status to the prisoners. It was directed by Steve McQueen, who is not Irish. The Good Friday Agreement of 1998 ended the Troubles, but not all, tr but not all trouble. There has since been other trouble, but not the Troubles. During the Troubles, about 3,500 people died more than half of whom were civilians. Another feature film about the Troubles is The Crying Game. It was directed by Neil Jordan, who is a famous Irish man. Culture 
U2 is a famous Irish band. I'm holding up right now a VHS tape of U2's Ach Tongue Baby. Daniel Day-Lewis is not an Irish man. I'm currently holding up a uh, VHS of the movie The Boxer. Uh, although he currently resides in Ireland, he has often played Irish characters which likely led to the misconception. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Make prayer hands. Oh, alright. Thank you.